Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only. Coming to you with another episode of Knights of the Old Republic. Alrighty, when we left off, we had uh, just gotten done with most of the uh, Undercity and Lower City stuff. Uh, infiltrating the uh, Black Vulcan base, which I uh, mistakenly said as a hidden Beck base. Uh, because I'm stupid. <laughs> and uh, now I'm in the new apartment and now doing, well, real life I'm in the new apartment. And video game, I am going to see if I can do the dueling thing with uh, with that Starkiller. Bendak Starkiller. I had to think of the name. It's been a long time. Anyway, I've heard the news, Mysterious Stranger. You and Bendak are planning a deathmatch. This is excellent news. People will bet a fortune on this fight. Not too many people want to fight deathmatch anymore. <laughs> Some are too scared. Others think it's wrong to kill someone else for credits. I guess that's why they're illegal now. Let's get on with the match. <laughs> okay. This is going to be a thing. Um... Did I mute my computer? I have to double check. I did not. You would probably have to, uh, you probably heard my little beep on my computer. Anyway, um, let's get on with the match. This fight is different than most, of course. We'll turn off the energy suppressor so weapons, weapons won't be limited. They can kill. Anything goes. So you ready to fight this match now? Well, I mean, I guess I'm going to have to if I have to collect on that bounty. And, uh, I will admit, this will, uh, earn a bit of scumminess on my record. Not that I haven't before. Um, I will be using the Cheatsy Doodle tactic, um, in the pause menu a lot. <laughs> It will be the only way I can really properly beat this guy. So, uh, just uh, as an FYI, just to let you all know, uh, it's going to get real filthy up in here. <laughs> real scummy. Uh, I'm ready. Good, excellent. High wagering means lots of credits for the winner on this match. Come see me after the fight to collect your credits, if you're still alive. Well... Ladies and gentlemen, come with me now on a journey to the savage days of years gone by, to a time when two combatants entered the arena and only one came out alive. Yeah. They're illegal. They're banned. They've been outlawed for nearly ten years, but we've got one for you tonight. A good old-fashioned death match. Yeah, and had to bribe a lot of officials. A living legend. A man whose very name would make his opponent shake in their boots. If any of them were still alive. <laughs> Out of retirement for one last battle. Bendik Starkiller. They are really hyping him up. And who I guess he kind of earned that. So. The ring with such a lethal legend. Who would be mad enough to face almost certain death. Merely for your enjoyment, uh, ladies it's not certain. and gentlemen. It's, feast it's your very likely. <laughs> the mysterious stranger. Yep. And now, I'm the crazy. The moment we've all been waiting I'm so for. crazy. <laughs> Let the death match begin. Oh joy! I earned dark side points for it, but it's unavoidable because killing is wrong for <laughs> enjoyment and, uh, you know, uh, credits. But, at the same time, the same time, he is also a notorious killer. So, you know, I'm probably going to even out in the end. Oh, you shit. How dare you? Oh, really? I missed all of them. Oh, fuck my life. Okay. Oh, jeez. Here we go. <laughs> it's already starting. It's already starting. It's utility. Okay. I need to go to utility. Uh, oh, I only have 21 med packs. 
Do I have anything stronger? <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, this is gonna be a fight. This is gonna be a fun one, folks. This is gonna be fun. Ow! Oh, Jesus. Okay, um... <laughs> Jeez. I probably should have, uh, done a stimulant. Okay. Okay, I can only do one per turn. Oh, jeez. Can I please use this one? Please? It'll help me survive. No, I can't. Not yet. Oh, good. Okay. That should count as a turn. Oh, thank God. Okay. Gave me a little bit of health. Gave me a boost to my defense and to my attack. Here's hoping it'll work. Oh, joy. Okay. Um, does that count as a turn? It does. Good. Ow. Okay. <laughs> oh, joy. This is not great. Uh, okay. All right. I'm getting some good hits in. I'm getting good hits in. I can't do this yet. Ow. Okay. I'm getting good hits in. That's all I can say. I'm getting good hits in. Because <laughs> I am scumming it up something fierce. To get as far as I am. Only five? Only five? That's not an even trade, me. Oh my god, that was a critical. Holy Jesus, a critical. Okay. Uh, oh, jeez. Oh, come on. Please. Please. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, no. Oh, maybe. Woo! Okay. Oh, I didn't hit any of them. Oh, I didn't hit any of them. Oh, no. <laughs> where, where am I in defense? I'm down in defense. Oh, joy. Oh, no. Uh... How's my attack? It's still high. Okay, good. Oh! Oh, what a critical. <laughs> mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Alright, let's try that again. Okay, this time I'm going to save before I start. And, uh, when I actually get into the fighting, I'm actually going to throw a grenade and hope that it hits. Woo! Okay. All right, time to save. All right, now we're getting into it. Gentlemen, come with me now coffee. on a journey a to the hot. savage days of years gone by. To Ooh, a time very hot. when two oh, combatants okay. entered the arena oh. and only one came out alive. Yeah. They're illegal. They're banned. They've been outlawed for nearly 10 years, but we've got one for you tonight. A good old-fashioned death match. I wonder if I can In skip this through this. Corner, I can. A living okay. legend. A man whose very name would make his opponent I was wondering. In their boots. <laughs> if any of them this is going alive, to take a while. <laughs> and who Ooh. would be crazy enough to step into the ring with such a lethal legend? I could have sworn I could skip it, though. Oh, it's hitting the wrong button. Okay. All right, um, let's pop that hyper-adrenal, what's that, utility, that was right, uh, hyper-battle stimulant, there we go, and, uh, let's get moving, screw the grenade, oh my god, you threw a second one, you fucking asshole. That worked. That worked beautifully. I should use concussion grenades more. Oh my god, that was beautiful. Oh, I might actually have a chance. Okay, I'm celebrating a little early. <laughs> Woo. I still have to survive the fight. I mean, if anything has been proven, is that he knows what he's doing. <laughs> All right, you know you've proved you play. You know how to play the game. Stand Ben Dark Killer. I'm fucking up his name. Oh Jesus. Okay. 
Okay. Vendak is down. It's over. It's over. The fight is over. We did it. Vendak Star Killer is down. Vendak Star Killer is dead. Woo! All hail the mysterious stranger. All right. The greatest duelist to ever grace the rings of Terrace. All right. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! We almost didn't. We almost didn't. <laughs> Woo! All right. All right. Let's go collect our winnings. Huh? We did it. The second try. <laughs> second try. I didn't even need to cut. Any footage for that. That was great. Okay. Bendak Starkiller's dead. I don't believe it. Bendak never loses. That was an amazing duel. Best duel I've ever seen. Glad you enjoyed it. Now where's my share of the purse? I know, I know. I'm a living legend. Now what about my cut? Uh, <laughs> okay. I, I, I want the purse more than anything. You've done well, stranger. I'm pleased, very pleased. Here are your credits. Plus, I'll give you Bendak's blaster pistol as a bonus. A sign of my appreciation. I don't know why you need a sign of appreciation, but okay. Uh, I think I deserve a little extra for putting my life on the line. Very well, stranger. I like you, and this was a special fight. Biggest purse I've ever handled. I'll give you a little bonus this one time only. Fuck yeah, that was great. So everything's working. Fucking great. Fucking great. <laughs> everything's go everyone's going to talk about you now, stranger. They're all going to know you're the one who killed the famous Star Killer. Fucking, I, I caught only half of that. I was still fucking making the joke with the button. Also, uh, excited as fuck. <laughs> I've never had that fight go that easily. I should use the cushion grenades more. <laughs> Whoo! It was great. All right. Well, that's done. I can go back to the uh, lower city and pick up the bounty. All right. And I'll drink my coffee a little bit, even though it's still piping hot. Hmm. Not as hot as it was. Uh, originally. Okay, cool. All right. Whoop. I'm hitting. <laughs> I'm hitting the A button because I've been playing games where that's the run button a lot. Um, whoop. Actually, I should probably go back to base first and then come back. There we are. And perfect. Transit back. Good. Okay. Now we head to the other side of the whole place. And then we can... Actually, was there... Where's the way to go to the Undercity again? Or the Lower City, rather? Okay. Ah, uh, that's the apartments. Fucking... This is so unintuitive. Clinic, upper city, okay. It's the other half of the upper city where I can go to the lower city. That's right. I remember now. I heard the gangs have overrun the lower city. Why don't the Sith go down there and restore order? Um, because that would take a lot of effort that the Sith just don't want to put into it. Oh, there's Karth. <laughs> he just teleported out of nowhere. All right, Caden, let's go. I mean, Karth. I mean, and, yeah, yeah. Same people, really. Okay. That's the other apartment. What the fuck? What's going on here? Please, human. I am injured and in need of assistance. These human children keep hitting and kicking me. I cannot reason with them, but if I fight back, I could be arrested. Get out of here, you goggle-eyed freak. Wow. Only for the upper city. Yeah. Go back to where you came from. We don't want your kind up here. Ah, good old-fashioned kitty racism. <laughs> uh, please, human, help me. Maybe these offspring of your species will listen to you. Jesus Christ. 
Fucking hell. Leave that Athorian alone, Don't you, you fuck. what happens to some scummy alien. He's just a freak. Yeah. You, you are one to talk. To in the upper city. Just because he's different doesn't give you the right to attack him. Come on, let's go. I don't want to listen to this alien lover anymore. Jesus Christ. Thank you, human. I was returning from a visit with the work associate when those child humans attacked me and chased me through the streets. Uh, here, I've got a med pack. You look hurt. You're too kind, human. I thank you for your generosity. Most of your kind here on Terrace care little for aliens like myself. Once more, I thank you for saving me from the human children. <laughs> I must take leave of you now. My life mate will be wondering where I am. Absolutely. Go ahead. Jesus Christ. Those kids have been listening to that fuck over down that way, haven't they? At least I think he's down that way. Yeah, he is. He's over there, you fuck. You've poisoned the minds of the children to your racism, you fucking... Ah, if I could kill you, I would. If I could kill you, I would right now. But the game won't let me. Much to my chagrin. Uh. Mm. Oh well. It's the limitations of the game. And the engine, probably, in some way, shape, or form. Did I ever go into? I did. I did. So the door is obviously open. I had to make sure. Alright, this was the cantina where the fucking bounties were hosted. Or rather, posted. Ah. Essentially the same thing. All right, and this is where the bounty hunters are, so this is the right place. Back again, human? I hope you didn't come just to chat. Davik hired me to do business and make credits, not to make small talk. I have a bounty. A bounty? Well, human, that is what I'm here for. Which bounty are you here to collect on? Uh, Bendak. So you killed Bendak in Deathmatch Duel. That's weird English. Ironic, isn't it? Bendak has a bounty on him for killing people in the duel, and you collected by killing him in the death match. Here, 300 credits. That's the price for all bounties. I busted my ass for this bounty. I want 400. You don't bargain with me. This is my business. I set the prices, not you. You take 300 or you get nothing. Oh, well, fine. All right, shit. I'll take the 300. All right, and I think I've done all the bounties, but let's double check. I want more details on the bounties you're offering. All the information is in your data pad already, but if you don't want to look there, I, then I guess I can fill you in. Who do you want to know more about? Uh, Selvin I've already dealt with. Bendak I've already dealt with. Dia, Largo, and Matrick I've dealt with. I think I've dealt with all of them. I'm pretty sure I've dealt with all of them. All right. Is that all of them? I want to double check. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's all of them. Completed quest. Bendax bounty. Dia's bounty. Selvin's bounty. Matrix bounty. Largo's bounty. Yeah. You've given Largo the money to pay Davik back. Matrix faked his death. Selvin is actually dead. Dia. Uh... His bounty was rescinded after uh, I think it was paid for, or Holden just gave it up. I don't remember how that that particular one resigned itself. Uh, reign of Terror is over, thanks to your efforts in the duel ring. Sax, like most others on Terrace, was well aware of the Starkiller's demise when you returned to collect your bounty. Well, yeah, it was televised on national television, of course. Well, planet-wide television. Technically... Would it, be, would it have been galactic? I don't know. Hmm. Anyway. That's all taken care of. Let's look at the other things we need to do. Karth. Search for Bastila. Didn't I already grab the swoop accelerator? 
Uh, I do have the swoop, uh, swoop accelerator already. Okay, then that means I just need to go back to the hidden back base. Okay, cool. Purchasing a droid. I can't do anything about it. Okay, I can't resolve this one because they're all gone. And uh, Terrace will, uh, will resolve itself. Yeah, Terrace will resolve itself. Eventually, everything will be fixed. The uh, serum has been given to uh, the good doctor who will spread it to everyone, presumably even the Undercity residents. And here we are. Cool. I drink my coffee. I'm going to drink a little more of it because that loading screen was a little faster than I anticipated. There we go. Ah, my headset's starting to go out a little bit. Batteries must be running low. I'll have to charge it after this recording session. All right. Hey, Gaddin. You have returned. Do you have yeah. the prototype swoop engine accelerator with you? I do. I have it right here. I was beginning to wonder if you would make it. The race is tomorrow, and my mechanics need time to install the prototype into the swoop engine of our bike. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure that they would need a lot of time to do that. All right, I lived up to my end of the deal. Now you better come through. Don't worry. I'm a man of my word. Good. I promised you could ride in the swoop race under the Hidden Beck banner, and I'm still going to let you do that. And I'm even going to go one better. I'm going to let you ride the swoop bike with the prototype accelerator installed on it. Without it, you won't stand a chance. Gaddon, you can't be serious. We need one of our best riders on that bike. We can't let some rookie take the prototype engine into the race. All right. Uh, <laughs> um, Zedra apparently has uh, strong feelings on it, so uh, one of your own riders should get that swoop bike. I have to be honest with you. There's a reason I'm letting you take the prototype engine. Uh, of course. The accelerator isn't stable. There's a good chance it could explode during the race. Oh, you gave me the super bomb bike. Okay. Unmodified swoops in the Literally. Race. You'll be the only one using the prototype. If All you right. can complete the track before the accelerator overheats, then you'll win for the Bex. If you die, then one of my other riders could still come through for me. Wow. Sounds like you've got all your bases covered. You don't get to be leader of a swoop gang if you don't know how to work all the angles. That's fair. That's fair. Honestly, that's kind of how I made manager. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm ready for the race. You can stay here tonight. The mechanics need time to install the accelerator on the engine, so you won't be able to practice your riding. Shit. But I've got good instincts. And you have the look of a racer about you. Just try to relax. Really? In the morning, we'll take you to the swoop track. Is it because I'm bald? That's harassed. You spend a restless night in the Beck base. In the morning, one of the Becks take you up to the swoop racing pits, where only racers and mechanics are allowed to go. Hey, Rodia. All right, that held for a little longer than it probably should have. Okay. So you're the one who's going to ride this swoop bike, eh? Don't worry, I've been working on the accelerator and the stability won't be a problem. I hope. Gadden mentioned that you've never done this before. You want me to run over the basics of handling a swoop bike for you? Uh, yeah. Just tell me how it's done. It's pretty simple, really. First, try not to crash into anything. There's debris and obstacles scattered all over the course, so watch out. All swoops are equipped with dynamic deflector systems, so hitting an obstacle won't cause you to crash, but it will shake you up a bit and slow you down. The track also has accelerator panels built into its surface. If you fly over one, it'll give your swoop a boost of speed, so try to hit them when you see them. When the engine starts running hot, you'll get a warning and you'll have to switch gears. Other than that, just try to hang on. You'll be fine. Uh, yeah, let's start the race. Hold on, I better explain the rules to you. Each rider goes out on the track alone. At the end of the day, whoever posts the fastest time is the winner. Normally, a rider can run as many heats as they want, but I don't I don't know how long the prototype accelerator on your swoop will hold up. No more than four or five races, I'd guess. So make your runs count. Gaddens put his trust in you. We need. We need to win this race on Bredgick's Volkers, or Bredgick's Volkers will get a bunch of new recruits. If that happens, we're finished. 
I fucked up a little bit there. I'm trying to do the low voice for this guy. <laughs> and that takes a bit of concentration to stay that low. Ow. <laughs> I won't let you down. Sounds like you're ready. Go talk to the race announcer over by the counter. He'll give you the time to beat and get you out on the course. I'll be waiting for you here after the run so I can make any tweaks or repairs to your swoop in case you want to go out for another heat. Good luck, and don't worry about the prototype overheating and exploding while you're out on the track. That probably won't happen. Good to know. It probably won't happen that I will burst into a fireball and die. Yay. Thank you. For that confidence. In that I won't die. Alright. Okay, we got a couple named people here. Alright. Alright, cool. Cool. Uh, I have to rest my throat a little bit. Doing that voice was a little tougher on it than I thought. Uh, give me a second to drink my coffee. Alrighty. A little better. Mm, burpee. <laughs> a little better. Okay. Whoop! Ooh, that was an accident. <laughs> Good thing I can back out. <laughs> Alright. Who is Doba? Hey, look at this. Fresh meat on the track. Well, don't get your hopes up, rookie. No first year rider has ever won the swoop racing season opener. Gadden must be getting desperate if he's grabbing first timers off the street. When we Volkers win this year, it'll be over for you hidden backs. Oh, so he's a black Volker. Okay, you die first. Okay. Redros. That's a hell of a name. Redros. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it. Rundi Hadonga. Another rookie on the track, eh? Give you punks a helmet and a swoop bike, and suddenly you're all figure your racers. But judging by the look of you, I'd say I don't have much to worry about. The Becks are really scraping the bottom of the barrel now. Okay, come on, man. Come on. Come on. That's just rude. Volker guard. No one's allowed to talk to the prisoner. Bredjik's orders. She wouldn't hear you anyway. She's got a neural disruptor collar on to keep her under control. Yep, that's Bastila, all right. Oh, jeez. Okay. Alrighty. Well, can't talk to her anyway. But, uh... She's there. Which means we're on the right track. So to speak. That was an unintended pun. <laughs> I hate it when I do that. All right. Anglu? Anglu? I'm assuming that's Anglu. Okay. I've never understood why so many of you new riders make your first competitive start in the biggest race of the year. That accelerator Gadden slapped on your swoop will help, but I just don't think that will be enough. Plus, there's always a chance it will explode during your run. So, uh, other people know about it. Great. Okay, well. Watch yourself on the track, rookie. Every year we lose a couple of you first-timers. We backs are losing enough members as it is without having them die on the track. Just be careful, and good luck. Okay, well, that's, uh... You told me people don't die. Why did you lie to me? Why did you lie to me, man? Why did you lie to me? Uh, uh, okay, well, alrighty. <laughs> this is going to be a thing. It's been a long time since I've done any of the swooping races and whatnot. Um, it'll take me a bit to re-remember how to do the controls. Um... But I'll be doing them in recording. Don't worry about that. It's just that, uh... Huh. Ha. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. <laughs> it's been a while. Anyway. I'm going to end the episode here for right now. Uh, let my throat rest a bit after all those voices I was doing. <laughs> so, uh... Yeah. 
Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat. Playing games and, well, you know, putzing around. <laughs> Damn it. It's been the one and only Stray Cat. Playing games and busting our asses to eventually get Ben Dax Starkiller killed. And uh, now we're going to possibly do the Hidden Beck races. And that's going to be fun. Because <laughs> I don't remember how to do them. For you!